What's up guys, this is Dave Marshall with the RCR Marshall YouTube channel and thank you for watching the Spectrum AR637T programming series. In this installment, we're going to be going over the optional step of registering your AR637T with your My Spectrum account, as well as how to upgrade the firmware on the receiver. Uh, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification icon so you're always made aware when we release new videos. Now let's get started. So I know I mentioned in the uh, introduction to the series that for the AR637T programming, you weren't going to need the USB programming cable or the, U uh, the Bluetooth module or the audio programming cable. You don't need any of that uh, because it's all done through forward programming. And that is true for the programming. Now for this one optional item, uh, you do need a USB programming cable and the Spectrum uh, programmer application as of the writing of this uh, or the, the recording of this video. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab our Spectrum uh, SPMA 3065 USB programming cable and uh, open up our Spectrum programmer software and show you guys how to get your AR637T registered and where to go to find firmware upgrades once they're available. So I've got the Spectrum Programmer software plugged into my, uh, my PC or opened up. And what we'll want to do is click the login button that's here in the upper left hand corner. When you click the login button, it will bring up this window in the center that says login. You need to log in or to your SpectrumRC.com account by before checking for an update. Or you can, uh, and if you don't have one, you can go ahead and create an account from within the app. So if you click that button, you can put in all the information and click register and it will go ahead and create that account for you. I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and get logged in. So at this point, I'm already logged in and we've got the SPMA 3065 USB programming cable plugged into the AR637T. And I'm going to go ahead and connect a battery to the receiver. Uh, and get it connected to the Spectrum Programmer software so we can see what happens next. Well, now we've got the AR637T attached to the, uh, the Spectrum Programmer software, and you'll have to excuse the beeping in the background. Uh, that's just what the AR637T does. That's the ESC beeping, and uh, unfortunately there's no way to, uh, to avoid that other than hooking it up, but it's already installed in an airplane, so uh, it uh, that's how it behaves when you have it hooked up to the programmer software. Now, what we want to do is uh, we will click the, uh, now up here you'll see serial number, it'll show you what the serial number of your receiver is, and the software version, which is 2.34, we can do check for update. And what it's going to do is it's going to want us to register the device because it doesn't see that it's already registered in my MySpectrum account. So I'm going to go ahead and name this AR637T Commander MPD because that's the airplane that I'm installing it in. And we'll go ahead and click register device. So that's all you need to do for the registration. The registration is now done. Uh, up here where it says no new software is available at this time, install another version. Now that's something that we would do on the AR636, but let's go ahead and click it here and see what we see. All right, so the versions that are available, there, there are no versions available other than the 2.34.1, which is what's installed, but you can see some, uh, some initial releases. The 2.33.7 was the initial release. And then the 2.34.1, which is what the AR637T ships with, uh, corrected telemetry behavior when used with an SRXL2 remote receiver and improved bind reliability. So there's already been one uh, firmware update to the device from the 2.33 to the 2.34. And I would assume that we're going to see more firmware updates coming out for the AR637T in the future. And when those come out, you're going to need to register the device and perform the firmware update uh, through the Spectrum Programmer software. So it's a good idea to go ahead and get this done, even though I, I can, uh, even though it is optional at this point. Uh, but you're going to need to do it eventually because it looks like they're going to have you know firmware updates for this thing at some point. The AR637T registration 
is completely optional, like I said in the beginning of the video, at this point in time. Now, one of the reasons that I like to go ahead and get this done in the beginning is more based on old habits, you know, from setting up AR636s, where I would go in and register and make sure there were no firmware updates right away, or install the firmware updates, uh, which would uh, unlock new features or whatever. Now, right now, as of the making of this video in April of 2020, there are no firmware updates for the AR637T, but when they do come out, my assumption is that you're going to need to register the AR637T in order to unlock the firmware updates, uh, which is pretty, uh, you know, pretty common for all Spectrum products. So I'm just kind of getting myself prepared for that, uh, that inevitable future. Uh, anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to tune in for the next installment of the series, which will be the installation of the AR637T into an airplane. And uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification icon so you're made aware when new videos come out. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.